So you came back for uh, episode number two, huh? I would have too. It's going to be a good uh, show. Make sure you like and subscribe because I'm going to be going through this thing a lot. It's a lot of fun also. As we can see here, we have our normal window. I'm going to move this over a little bit so we can see everything. And let's log in. I have all my notes and stuff on the other screen here. So you guys can't see everything that I have as much as possible. I'm going to go full screen into this and then I'm going to zoom in a little bit so it's hopefully easier for you guys to see. So here's the main dashboard. It's fully updated and ready to go. Now we need to add the phones and our SIP trunk and set up a bunch of things to make this actually work. So I'm going to go out and say thank you very much to Cody at MacTel Telecom on YouTube because he did a video on this and it worked great. Problem solved. I did have an issue with one of my phones yesterday. When I made a ring group, it wouldn't ring in. So we'll maybe see if this will happen here. I did factory reset everything um, and got it all working. Or battery, factory resetting everything so that way we can start from scratch. Maybe there was a glitch there or something. As you can see over here, the other phone's over there. I don't have the wireless phone set up. I'm gonna do a separate video on that because I wanna do an unboxing of that and then add it to the system. Plus I gotta make a wireless network because it's a wireless phone. I haven't gotten that far yet. Spent all day figuring out why things weren't working and learning and doing that and stuff like that. Cody's video was very, very helpful. Um, I had to went online and did some grand stream YouTubing and seeing if I made any mistakes. Couldn't see anything. Did some fuddling around and figure out this phone was acting really, really weird. I don't know why. So, on the phone, they're both factory reset. So now, what we need to do is add them to this UCM. So let's go to extensions and trunks, and then extensions. Uh, we see all of these. Now what we need to do is, we know that the trunks or the extensions are available, so now we can add the phones to these. But first we need to do is go to here, zero config, we need to add the phones. And it's already detected the phones. If there was any more phones, it would have detected those. So I already know this one's set to four. So I'm gonna set this one right here. Go over to the config. We're gonna give it, uh, and it's already detected the phone. It's pretty nice how it does that, zero config. I'm gonna give it extension 101, because I put a sticker on here so I know which one each phone is so I can play around and learn and stuff like that. So I'm gonna do that to this one. I'm going to go save. I'm going to do the same one to the next one. This one. And I'm going to go account 2, 1002. And I'm going to go save. I didn't push update yet because I'm going to go like this. I believe we can just do all at the same time. Just in case you're going through a whole bunch of phones and adding stuff for that. Why do it one at a time? So now, go like this. Now if we wait a couple seconds... These phones don't make any noise or anything like that, but the screen changes. And I'll show you that if I can. Done. It's already provisioned. Let's put a long cable on here now. You won't be able to see this at all, but you know what? I'll take a picture of it with my phone and show you what I see. See if this works. Let's go wide. Let's click on the screen so we get that tone out of there. Maybe not. There we go. Much better. So I'll put the picture in the, the video for you guys to see. But it basically shows you we have an extension. 1001, 1002. So if I wanted to, and I didn't want any outbound calling or routering or like that, this should work. Add we add, after we add the extension. So let's go extensions, extensions. And now, as you see, since we've added those, they're already provisioned, ready to go. I can dial 1002 and I should be able to hear something. Uh, one, oh, backspace 002. Might be loud, so let's try this. Because it's gonna be really loud. I didn't turn these phones down. 
They come default. They come factor defaulted. Extremely loud right out of the box. I don't know why. Maybe feature. Okay, so they're added to the PBX. They're talking back and forth. Now what we need to do is add our VoIP account. And I chose VoIP.ms because it was cheap. I don't need any special settings. This was just for a test lab. And when it's all fully functioning, I'll just probably keep using it because it's pretty simple to use. Uh, a couple things I did do with my account is I locked it down to source restricted IP address. So if anybody got into my VoIP account, they can't, or into my PBX, they can't use all my settings somewhere else because it'll just be blocked out. I also set up 2FA to my uh, VoIP.ms account. So if I ever got compromised, I'll get notifications that somebody's trying to do stuff here. So a couple things that you could do to secure. I'm sure there's more that I'm going to learn about this. But let's go ahead and add my um, SIP trunk. So you'll notice on the dashboard right here, there's no SIP trunks yet, but we're going to add that. So we go to trunks and we go to VoIP trunks and then we go add SIP trunk. Uh, we're going to call this a register because it registers to them. I'm going to call this VoIP dot ms just so i can identify it in there the host name on their web page um, under the account they give you a very big list of servers to use uh, i'm not going to show you that page because there's no point but you'll see it in your list and i picked this one void vancouver one dot voip dot ms only because i'm across from them and it's there so we don't need to change any of these settings uh, we don't need to change this one. We don't need to change this one. We do need to put in some more settings here. So my notes show me. So the first one is the phone number. So what we need to do is put the caller ID number in here. I'm going to blank this out. Okay. And then our username is a special code. Okay. Now let's go back to the system page and let's see if it's joined. So dashboard. It's not online because I think there's one more setting we have to make for this to work. Okay, I wasn't missing anything. I just didn't push apply at the top corner. Once I push apply, you can see that my account down here went blue. Oh, part of the troubleshooting and learning the system. So now we have an outbound trunk, but we can't make phone calls. So now we need to make inbound routes and outbound routes, and then it should work. So let's try going to... Uh, extensions and trunks and we need to go inbound so let's make an inbound one this is where I kind of had problems last time and it's pretty simple to do but I couldn't do anything so first we need to make the rule we have our SIP trunk up here okay so now we have our inbound route now we need to make an outbound route so we go add outbound we'll call this outbound Pattern, um, same thing with our 10 digit calling. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Trunk, we have to pick our trunk because our VoIP line that we have is our trunk to get out. And then we need to give it a privilege level so that way we could set privileges later on. I'm just going to use the basic one right now called internal, or actually, no, we're going to call local. Sorry save now we have those but the phones don't have privileges yet so now we got to go back to the phones and tell them they can, that they have privileges to make these routes to go out and in so what we need to do is go to extensions we'll click on one we'll go edit and privilege it's already set automatically did it for us so let's go save now if we go back to the system status we should see we got our VoIP account it's set up and working. And if I made this work properly, it didn't work the first time I did it with the other one, but let's see if this works. So if I dial my cell phone from this, my cell phone should ring. If it doesn't, we got an issue. We'll figure it out. So the number you dialed is incorrect. Please check the number and dial again. So we can't get out and can't get in. So there's something, actually, let's, let's, let's push apply changes first before I go too, too far here. 
I don't know if that's going to fix it or not. Let's see how happy this is now. Did it work? Is it going to work? Yep. It's going through. Woohoo! And it worked. So I can answer that. Let's turn this down a little bit. Because it's loud. Hello? Hello? And we can hear it? So I'll put it on speakerphone here. Hello? 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 Woohoo! That worked. Okay. We can make phone calls out. Now let's see if we can make a phone call in. This is where I got stuck. Because it's being forced to one of the phones, which is this one right here. And it was really tricky. I, I played around for many, many hours with this, trying to figure out why it's not working. It's like the phone was busy, but it wasn't. So I tried phoning both phones, which was fine. So I go from here to there, or from here to there. No, no issues, so the phones were there. It's not like the phone was off the hook. I checked to see if the phone was in D&D mode, nothing. So I was like, well, that's strange. Maybe there's some kind of weird, weird extension. So I sent it to 2000, 1002, and it worked. Okay, so then I put it back to 1001, didn't work. So then I created a ring group, and I noticed that 1001 wasn't ringing. It was really weird, but 1002 was. It was strange. But let's find out, see if this works. So let's go here. We'll call it. And it's working this time. So, uh, I, I don't know what happened last time. Maybe it was a glitch. Maybe when I pushed the settings or something like that, it didn't, it did not want to ring through. But what I am going to show you is how to make a ring group. So that way when you phone, all the phones will, will ring. And you can select which phones you want into the ring group. So that's all working right now. Make phone calls, receive phone calls, voices working through Untangle without issues, without any special settings or anything like that. So, let's go to Call Features, and then Ring Groups, and then Add. So we're gonna call this All Phones. So I, when I add phones to this, anything that comes in is gonna go to All Phones. And then I'm gonna go All 10 Extensions. Let me just make sure there's no special weird settings in there. Yep, zero to nine. There's 10 phones in there. And ring order, I'm just gonna go ring simultaneously and just, it's just gonna keep ringing. No music on hold, no special command prompts. Uh, ring timeout, I'm gonna set that to 20 because that's a long time. And then let's go save. Oh, uh, all dash phone? Maybe I didn't like that. Save? Yeah, there it goes. And of course, I'm going to have to start remembering this. Apply changes. Just like in Untangle firewalls and other firewalls, you've got to push save. Or if it's worst case scenario, it's like a Cisco firewall where you got to commit the changes because it'll work. But if you forget to save and log back out and log back in, they're all gone. Okay, so let's dial back to this and both of these phones should ring. Let's move this here to see this. Let's see if both of these both of these phones ring. Are we ready? Only one, because I forgot to change on the main page to change something. So we have to go back to um, where was that? That was extensions and trunk inbound routes, and we got to change this. And it's not going to be extension, it's going to be ring group. And then you'll see that the all phone group that I put in here is there. So now we go save, apply settings. Okay, it's configured. Let's go at this and go system status, dashboard. Now, if I make a phone call, we should see some stuff show up on here. So let's go at this and try it. Both of these phones should also ring. Both of them are ringing. And if we look on the screen here, I don't see active calls right there. That means that something's coming in. So let's answer that. Uh, we'll do it on this one. Hello? Hello? Back 
feedback because I'm too close to the phones and stuff like that. But that's pretty sweet. I mean, I spent hours doing this. Maybe I made mistakes. I mean, I'm not perfect. I'm learning this, and that's all the people that do this for a living. I learn this stuff. Um, probably spent hours and days and months learning certain aspects and stuff like that. If you were to do this on free PBX, as my best friend said, it's a huge learning curve because there's millions of little features. Sure, it's really tailored, but this this is a really nice system and it works really, really well. So uh, I'm going to end the video there. I'm going to edit out some stuff so you guys can't see some stuff. I'm going to drink the rest of my coffee. You are going to go to my channel and push like and subscribe and click the little bell notification so you see more of my videos that are going to come up here because I still have the wireless products down here below, plus the wire fo wireless phone that I get to add to the network. And then we're going to go from there. So, you have a great day. I'm going to continue on. See you later, guys.